Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, we're going to show how to make equal height columns for your post grid layout. We're going to use the query block and the query template block to create a template for the home page. In a previous video, getting started with quickly creating theme templates, I showed how to create a home page blog layout, but in this video, we're going to take it a bit further. We're going to style template items so that they have a card effect. And then we're going to set each of the cards to be equal height. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. So this is my testing site for Quickly. It's WordPress 6.0. I've got the Quickly plugin installed and activated and the Quickly theme. This is the Quickly theme. I created a header and footer and you know, set some global styles. The Quickly theme is a minimal theme. So this is the default index page. And these are actually the excerpts of the posts. So let's go into the Quickly themer area. And we'll create a new template. We'll call it home page. Okay, so now we'll give it conditions. We want it to show if it's singular and front page. Okay, and you see it tells you down here it saved it. Now let's go edit. Here we are in the editor. I'm just going to collapse the menu. And with Gutenberg, you know, you have to add your header and footer. So we'll add our header. And now we'll add our footer. And choose that one that I made. Okay, now in between I want to add a section. So drop that in. And let's check that. Yeah, see that came inside the header. I've been down that uh, road before. So let's move that up. Good, now it's on its own level. All right, so let's go check the uh, settings here. That's got top and bottom padding of 70 pixels and 1290 pixels max width, which matches the match width of our header content. Let's go to global styles and let's apply, I have a blue background style so apply that something that and i think maybe i read about but didn't quite sink in is that the quickly container blocks have this stack icon here where you can add a block you know the default gutenberg you have a plus little black plus icon to add a block and sometimes those show up inside of columns and whatnot and it's a little clunky and this is a lot more elegant because we add it, it's just going to add it to the bottom of that container. Don't have to fiddle around with making sure it landed in the right hierarchy or whatever. All right, so now I'm going to add inside of that a query block. And we see the query is also a container. So it's got this stack icon. And we're going to add the query template. And this is like our loop item. And lo and behold, the query template also is a container. So inside of this, we will add a div. And this div is going to be our card. Uh, we're going to use that styling to get that card effect. And now inside the div, we'll add a featured image. We'll come over to source and choose dynamic and WordPress and featured image. The image doesn't have a link option here, nor does it have a link wrapper option. So, you know, I've been surfing the forums and talking to the developer and support and whatnot, figure things out. So I've learned there's this little trick here where you can transform this into a div, which still contains the image, but now we get a link wrapper. And this way we can have a link on the image to go to the post and we'll enable it because you know a lot of archives the featured image and the post title will be uh, links themselves in addition to a read more button okay so let's keep going and let's now add the
title and I can see now we're, to get these to stack we need to set our flex orientation there and that title came in as an H1 we want that to be an H2 and we'll choose dynamic data and post title and let's just go and style that a bit the height I want to be 1.2 and then the margin and padding let's put say 10 pixels above and below okay and now we'll add our excerpt by going quickly paragraph dynamic data post excerpt and we'll say 260 characters so now we will go and add our read more button and we'll just type in there read more and let's make that let's go to topography and make that a little bit bolder and we will set a margin above and below that all right now we only see one post item here that's because we need to go to our query and tell you know specify what our query is by default that's inherit from url but we want to go ahead and build a query quickly has this really nice query builder here so we'll set posts and order by that's fine publish date and we'll say six posts per page lots of other query options there okay but now we can see our items so let's go and kind of style to try to get this card effect so i'm going to go to the div and give it a background color of white and now we can see our cards aren't equal height right so let's keep going here let's go to borders and we'll give it a radius of four pixels we will go now to margin and padding and we'll add 10 pixels around now to get the equal height get a sizing and do minimum height 100 percent and max height 100 percent now we have equal height columns that's kind of the main thing i wanted to show you but let's just finish up our page let's get our pagination in we'll go to uh, a scroll infinite scroll let's say threshold of 25 and let's save this and go to the front end and see what we've got okay so here we have now our equal height cards and as we scroll more posts come into view all right so that's a quick look at how to get equal height columns there's a text summary on the webtng website along with other walkthroughs reviews resources i hope you found this useful thank you for watching